The number of young workers in the Arab world is set to grow to 58 million by 2025. Most governments are focused on attracting and developing an entrepreneur market. The thinking is encouraging private enterprise will help create badly needed jobs for the region's youth. Dubai has made huge strides, but today it's certainly not alone. The tiny Gulf nation of Bahrain wants to be the location of choice for budding entrepreneurs, and it's making a competitive pitch. We look at Bahrain's cost competitive base. We're about 40% cheaper, uh, whether you look at rent, uh, labor, uh, permits, what have you, uh, than neighboring cities. And if we can focus that on high value added sectors, technology being one, but it's financial services, it's logistics, then that can be a very unique selling point for the country. Well, what's the counter argument to that you're too small to use as a base to leapfrog into a broader market? And I'm thinking Middle East, North Africa of you know, 300 million consumers. Well, Bahrain is never going to be a selling point just for the local home market. We always look at ourselves as how can we access, how can you access the broader market through Bahrain? So we're a member of the GCC. Uh, through that, you're able to tap into 50 million people. Um, we're part of that uh, union. So there is custom free or single customs union in the, in the region. And then the connectivity. Um, the Bahrain has a uh, causeway to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, largest economy in the region, 30 million people. You can get into Dammam by car in 30 to 45 minutes, to Riyadh by car in four hours. And then obviously the port, the airport allows that connectivity to take place. So our focus is on why Bahrain? Why are you gonna choose Bahrain as a spot? to access the region versus others. And then we focus on the points of cost competitiveness, openness of the economy. We allow 100% foreign ownership, not in a single zone, but across the country. And we've actually uh, you know, reformed our ownership laws uh, in, in the last 12 months to allow 98% of our business activities to be open to for, uh, foreign ownership. Only 2% are restricted to nationals. We're six years after the uh, Arab Spring. We had tensions on the ground in Bahrain. Is there a lingering taste that it just is right below the surface and you have to convince foreign investors it's not an issue in Bahrain? You know, I think the biggest challenge right now is convincing investors why Bahrain versus all the other competing cities. I think it's a case of why, and every country faces this, why your country versus another city. And it's really cities competing against each other. It's why Riyadh, not Jeddah? Why uh, Abu Dhabi, not Dubai? And so I think the focus has to be on having a very clear value proposition. And so to us, it's economics, not politics, that is dictating the dialogue with, uh, with companies and investors. And so, uh, you know, to us, it's making sure that we speak true facts, something that can resonate with an investor. And I think the unique selling points have to be based on facts and based on substance. <laughs>